Hello guys, you are with the Tech Science. Today we are discussing a new point. Since couple of days we are discussing the chapter observing space telescope, different types of telescope that we already discussed, uh, like uh, optical telescope we already discussed. Next one in the reflecting type telescope we have Newtonian as well as the Cassegrain telescope etc. So here we observe the three different types of telescopes are there first one optical telescope in which lenses are used second one newtonian telescope in which the mirrors are used as well as third one is called cassegrain where the mirrors are used along with the newtonian and cassegrain both are using uh, one more like uh, instrument for that if you have to magnify the image they use the eyepiece that is called a kind of convex lens what does this mean it means that both of these are uh, having the combination of mirror as well as the lenses now these like uh, telescopes are there so these telescopes basically uh, to find out those like radiation which can be seen with our eyes that is called visible radiation so many heavenly objects are there they emit the radio waves and which are not visible to our eyes so for us to observe such types of teles like uh, um, objects that is called heavenly object we have a kind of telescope it is called a radio telescope observe so this is the name is called a radio telescope so what is radio telescope a special type of telescope is used to receive the rays which are not visible to our generally eyes which cannot be sensed by our eyes which cannot be visible to our eyes such kind of a telescope it is called as the radio telescope now let's see what is like uh, construction and working of the radio telescope generally radio telescope it is a kind of like astronomical instrument which consists of first one this is called a receiver observe this is a receiver it is called a radio receiver as well as we have the antenna system and here the antenna nothing but a parabolic structure and we call it as a dish so what is the use it is used to detect the rf radiation what is the rf radiation radio frequency radiation that is emitted by the extraterrestrial sources and the radio wavelength are much longer not as compared to the visible light that's why radio telescope must be a very large in order to attain the resolution of optical telescope generally the first radio telescope is built in 1937 by Grote Robert and here uh, it is a stable paraboloids are there that is a device with a parabolically shaped reflectors there generally you can observe like uh, different types of like uh, shapes are there to as uh, as a, as an antenna depending upon what kind of radio waves you have but the most widely used it is called the parabolic shape why it is used as a parabolic shape generally so observe these are the rays that is called observe these are the red colors you know observe generally so these are the rays which is called incoming rays from the heavenly objects and this parabolic structure reflect these rays it reflect these rays and after reflection of course it just looks like a uh, kind of spherical object am i right now we already learned that in the spherical mirror uh, if it is a concave type of mirror is there automatically it converts the light rays that's why after falling all these views all these rf views radio views on this parabolic structure that is called as a dish what happened here they of course they converge at a point they come to at a point and we know that after converging when the light rays are coming when the views it may be light rays it may be a radio views when they are coming at a point that point is called yes that point is called focus so here so here your receiver your receiver where is the receiver observe so this is a receiver so what is the position of the receiver so the answer is that the position of receiver is like that it should be at that point where all the rays are converged at a single point and that is called focus okay so this is what actually the receiver is there which receives all the waves into a single point it is called the focus and once the receiver so what is the function of receiver a function of receiver is that it should be receive all the views which are reflected by this dish by this parabolic antenna and finally it will be come into the receiver now next we are use a kind of like a all these views now they are passing through this uh, wired structure and finally it reaches to the 
a device it is called amplifier what is called amplifier see this is an amplifier and finally what is the function of amplifier so generally the extra like terrestrial heavenly objects are there when they like uh, receive such kind of electromagnetic waves we can say that a uh, radio waves so what happen here they are having the low amplitude they having the low wavelength in that case we have to amplify them we have to give a proper ampli uh, amplitude to them for the reason we are using the amplifier and after giving a proper amplitude now it move towards a device it is called as a computer where you can analyze what kind of views which are coming from the heavenly object to study this generally we are using a micro computer here so uh, like a kind of computer which having also a, like a different types of computers are used which having the higher configuration and here all this uh, data will be analyzed here only where exactly it is on the computer one more time whatever the data will be there like uh, which is received by this receiver like uh, computer it should be having uh, kind of like uh, devices are used to store such kinds of views which are coming from the heavenly object for the reason in old days magnetic tapes are used in nowadays there is a hard disk are there secondary memory components are there which are which are used to store the information uh, for the future analysis which are coming from the heavenly objects so a radio telescope is a very good technology what is basically used it is used to cons like uh, it is used basically for Uh, such kinds of waves which are coming from the heavenly objects and which are not visible to our eyes for this such kinds of invisible uh, waves uh, we are uh, like uh, detecting we are receiving by the receiver for re to receive this we are using the antenna also called as the dish the receiver receive all these waves further it is transferred towards the amplifier and after proper amplification it fed to the computer and we can analyze we can study what kind of things are there which are coming from the heavenly objects so this is what exactly the construction and working of the radio telescope i hope you like the video if you like the video please subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon for the new notification thank you have a nice day